For day two notes in unit three, part one, um, this is about graphing lines in slope-intercept form. And you should be familiar with this equation. Um, this one would be the y equals mx plus b. Okay. So for slope-intercept form, it is an equation of a non-vertical line, y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So when I'm plugging numbers or looking for the slopes or the y-intercepts, looking for these numbers, they're only going to be in two spots. They're either going to be in front of the x or right at the end. And I include the plus sign with that because it could be like a negative number or a positive number. Okay, okay now, if we go through and we, we want to know on all of these, what is the slope m and what is the y-intercept b of all of these problems? And I went ahead and like gave you a little guide here, but for the rest you would do your own. So for m, that's going to be in front of that x is 5. And the B would be this last part, which is negative 2. So M would be 1 third in front of X. And B would be 9. So as you can see, I did not write down the X in both of these. Do not write down the X. And C, we have F of X equals, which we still know that this is Y equals negative 3x plus 12, it's the exact same equation. So m is going to be in front of x again, so the negative 3, and b is going to be the 12, the number that stands alone, does not have any variables with it. Okay, d, okay, m is in front of x, so that's negative 2 fifths, b is negative 8. All right, for the next example, you're actually going to use that information to graph. And when we write down our slope, um, and in this case, like here, 5 is a whole number, negative 3 was a whole number, we would want to make these a fraction if we had to graph them. So these were already a fraction, which is great. But in letter A, in example 2, it says graph y equals 2x plus 1. So first of all, my slope is in front of x, which is 2, and as a fraction, that's over 1. My b is a positive 1, okay? So I need to begin, this is your y-axis, begin on the y-axis at 1. So this is where I start. Okay, so I started here. And then for my slope, I need to rise to run 1. So from the point, I count 1, 2, and then write 1. And we are going to cover the entire graph. So up 2, over 1. And you see here we would be off the graph. Okay. So back to the original point, and we're going to do the opposite. So instead of going up 2, we're going to go down 2. And they went right 1, we're going to go left 1. And we can see that's on the same line. So again, let's go down two, left one. Down two, left one. And then use your ruler to graph your straight line. And making sure you have arrows on the end and you really want to make sure that that line goes all the way off the graph. Okay. For part B, even though it says f of x still means y, so we can figure out our slope is negative 3 and our b is negative 5. So I have to graph this. So I want to make my slope over 1. And please realize that when you put that over 1, that's over a positive 1. So you are going to go to the right. So you will go down because it's negative, and then you will go to the right. So starting at negative 5, on the y-axis, we put our point. Then, 
we're going to go down 3 over 1, which we're off the graph. So now we're going to have to do the opposite. We're going to have to go up 3, left 1. Up 3, left 1, and then that can just continues on. And then you want to draw your line as well. Okay, for letter G, no, sorry, letter C, we have slope is two-thirds, B is negative four, and we're going to begin on the y-axis at negative four. And we're going to, apologize, we're going to run, or sorry, rise two, run three. Rise two, run three. Then we can fall two and go left three. And you can see that that's on the same line. Okay, and then lastly for this video, we're going to do m is negative one half, b is positive five. So we are going to begin at positive five but then we are going to go down one, right two, because two is positive. So down one, right two. Down one, right two. And then to go the opposite way from that five, we can go up one, left two. And you can see it's still on that straight line.